we finally got a decent reveal now of finally what the Transformers Generation Selects uh, combat hero Megatron was going to look like. And we speculated how they were going to go about it. Essentially, they took the Megatron Siege figure from the Voyager scale, they repainted it in those unreleased G2 colors, and here it is. And when it was revealed to us, they right away told us, oh, by the way, much like the Ecto-1, uh, Ectotron, it's going to be on the Hasbro Pulse website right now for twenty nine ninety nine, and mm-hmm. it, it's it's funny because it comes in a very simple box, and a box that's very uh, indicative of what the old Transformer Collector Club used to send a lot of their figures in, and uh, fun publications. So I mean, I think that this might be a reflection of how they're going to handle some of their more special product, like the limited run. Uh, online product they'll just put it in a very simple box uh, maybe to keep costs down but this is pretty cool and and again from from how it looks i mean i'm not surprised by its color scheme because the fact that we knew what it was going to be based on it kind of gave us an indication already of how it was going to look but i mean i dig it it looks really nice and i mean the the cost and how much of its price point is right on the nose i mean it's not more expensive than how it would have been in retail Mm. um one thing I want to bring up is at least this time around, it's the link is still functioning. Uh, when Ecto-1 went li- live, uh, the website pretty much crashed, and then they took down the listing. Oh, wow. Where, yeah, so now, at least in the case of this one, the listing is still up. So you could still pick it up for twenty nine ninety nine from Hasbro Pulse's website. Well, I kind of think that uh, that goes without saying that the Ecto one one. It, you, you've got two different fandoms fighting for this one thing. Oh God! And yeah. For this particular Megatron one, it's just one fandom. So I don't think the the uh, hype for it would be as crazy. You well, know? well. Also, I found that um, I was having this discussion on the Discord. Actually, I was saying how the Ecto one release. Um, probably more than anything Transformer related that weekend uh, got the most mainstream media attention. Mm. So a lot of, you know, I always joke about how like whenever you order from Loot Crate, they always, yeah. they always, intru- they always include a t-shirt that always has, I call it these two things, which mm-hmm. is like, they'll always take something and something and mash it together. Right. It's a very modern pop culture kind of thing now where it's like, we'll take a tar- oh, the mashup. Yeah. yeah mashup. Like, like you would do that in music and stuff like that. We'll take a TARDIS and then put it with, you know, Back to the Future. We'll take this. So this is like that come to life in the minds of mainstream media. So it got a lot of attention. And, you know, considering that, like, I was joking about, like, the biggest attention the Ghostbusters brand has gotten in the past 15 years came from a toy from Transformers. You know, yeah. Not a movie, you know, not a comic book. Not not all the toy lines that they've gotten, which, by the way, I'm not saying the, the modern uh, Ghostbuster toys suck. Some of them are pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. But it's like it's kind of funny how this one got so much attention. It was crazy. And I think that you're right. That's what probably messed things up because it probably got that mainstream media attention. And then they're like, oh, by the way, and you could pre-order it on Hasbro Pulse. And then all that traffic. Yeah, exactly. That just and came- plus, you know, when, um, you know... Uh, how do I put it? I think it also goes to this, like, you know, some people are like, oh, why didn't Hasbro have more blah, blah, blah? It's like, no, it's our actual internet is not keeping up to date with the amount of traffic that is going on. Like, I don't peop- think, like, I don't think, like, I think ex- people don't realize that. Like, they think, like, oh, Hasbro should have more servers running so that more people can get this thing. And it's like, no, it's our internet is not, the infrastructure is not keeping up to date with the demands that everyone has for it. Well, we're also seeing that, like, you know, Hasbro Pulse pretty much made its debut the same weekend as Toy Fair. Yeah, and that, too. And you know, so too. they, that, they that probably they in. were not ready for that. They, they Like, they wanted that, you know, a, along with all the toy reveals, to also reveal their new infrastructure of their website for, for selling product. And I think, obviously, stuff wasn't tested. I think that... I, I, I think maybe if they had released it maybe a month earlier... Or even like, a week before. S- just or just, And slowly get, okay, this is how heavy it can handle it, This is how, you know, and slowly ease out. And then when you put something really big on it, bam, you know what well, I mean? Well, when, when you have people even like me that aren't going to be buying stuff right away from the website, but are still there checking it out, that's bandwidth, that's traffic. And yeah, we, I know, but I, like I'm saying, I think a month would be better. Maybe oh, yeah. three weeks would be better. It'd be better than one week, and then you don't have to put out, hey, we got we got this Megatron, we got, like, got all this new stuff on this one website. Oh, yeah. Like, it'd be like, oh, I didn't know this link was up. Okay, well, you know, let me it, check this out. 
it's kind of a thing now a lot of times where people do a big panel and then they go and right now live on the website is and you yeah. can go and then everyone bum rushes it so exactly at, at least it's good in this case the megatron hasn't sold out yet but i mean it's a completely different animal from the ecto one in terms of popular but i still dig it i still think it's really cool i really I, like i that. i wonder if they're going to do a re another repaint that looks more like the g2 one you know what i mean with the original the, g2 colors yeah the original g2 one because i i like this is very 90s looking but it's not the 90s one i'm looking at you know what i mean i like, I, feel, I still dig it but i i'm still i still want <laughs> i feel this mold is going to get plenty of tra- like plenty of use i think mm. that the mega this megatron mold is going to see quite a few repaints <laughs> quite a few retools and i mean this has the hasbro mm-hmm. select like the what tells me more than anything is that box. Mm. I look at that box, and I and as a subscriber of the figure subscription from Fun Publication, I go. I see what's going on here. Minimalistic packaging, uh, leading to being able to produce uh, f- a larger scale of simplistic figures. And by mm-hmm. simplistic, I mean like. There's not a complicated, R, you know, R and D behind it. We're gonna take right. this toy. We're just gonna paint it. No mm. new remolding, nothing. We're gonna slap it into a very simple box, so we don't have to hire someone for box art, or, mm-hmm. or you know, they're probably, maybe, and again, this isn't confirmed, but maybe inside the box there might be a tech spec card. That's what fun publications would do. They would throw a tech spec card in there with art, but who and- knows? Maybe it might not even have that. It'll just be the base figure. Now, looking at this image of the With box, instructions. I'm going to ask you, what does that thing say in Cybertron on the box, in Cybertronian on the box? What does it say? Or what, what do you think it says? You, you, you right away caught me off guard here. Because <laughs> I'm just looking at the box. I'm like, why is it in Japanese? I'm like, no, that's not Japanese. That's Cybertronian. I wonder what it says. Let's do this live right now. You understand what I mean? Oh, no. I understand exactly what you mean. And we're going to do this um, live right now. Because the reason, and also the reason I, just to bring it back to the G2 thing, yeah. the reason I say like, well, why not re-release it in um, the original G2 colors? I mean, the fact that we've had multiple, um, well, I don't think it's multiple, but like R- Laser Rod Optimus Prime is like, that mold has like gotten its fair share of use yeah. over the years. And then we recently got a... Um, like a uh, a more modern version, a generations version of it, you know, and um, I wouldn't be surprised that they do like a scourge of that and et cetera, et cetera. Well, it's it's something you know? where you take there's certain molds of some characters, and when you take them, you right away have a built in crew of people that you could turn it into. Yeah, and from what we've seen <clears throat> with tank Megatrons. It kind of goes in a lot of different ways, and especially when it comes to just tanks in general. I mean, look, he has a sword, right? Yeah. He, bludgeon, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like it's just that's true. I think I think you would have to like maybe, maybe slim down the sword, you know, make it more like a samurai sword. I think that'd be more doable for bludgeon if if they wanted to go that crazy with it. I would hope so. I think that's one character I really enjoy collecting. I'm also, uh, as we're talking right now, I'm translating the Cybertronian on here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, So we got an A, we got an R. Mm, What other tanks? Mm, What other tanks they could do with this You keep people busy while I just do this. Oh, man. Well, you know, uh, just to bring up, like, even like Overlord, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. But you you wouldn't get that, you know, iconic jet extra unless uh, you kind of pack it in with one of the... um, one of the the new um, micro masters that they have for siege, and give them a sword out of that. Mm-hmm. I, I think that would be the other way of doing it. Um, I don't know. There's other. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't. Know, I'm not super. Maybe brawn was it? No brawl. Is it brawl? All right. So I trans translated the Cybertronian <laughs> on the box. It's yeah. War. <laughs> so I guess for war for Cybertron. Uh, so it's war on the box. So nothing bad. I always you're welcome. Ever ever, <laughs> ever, ever since jazz, I swear it's always. Well, no, box. it's it's not even that. It was just like I was looking at it and I realized we weren't talking about the Cybertronian on the packaging. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> but yeah, I it's mean, it's like right there in front of your face. It's true. I probably should have looked at that better. <laughs> it's okay. But, but I mean, again, this is this is really a really cool figure. And I, I again, to me, what I like about this is that box tells me 
we could get a lot more quicker from from idea concept to reveal stuff because mm. when i when i worked with fun publications that was the cool thing about it because you didn't have to worry about packaging because mm -hmm. you didn't have to worry about you know like you were just throwing an instruction sheet in there and good to go yeah you were able to just go hey wouldn't it be cool if we took this mold and then repainted it and then called it this guy and then that's it it was yeah. very very quick how fast like we would we would go from photoshop to product because you didn't have to worry about everything else in between and right. so what's cool about this is that that probably gives us more opportunities that you know look how look th that siege toy came out how long ago not even that long ago yeah, like two weeks ago for canadian retail maybe three weeks ago for american retail uh, i would say i would say last month i would, I would, okay, I would yeah. say yeah, beginning of the year it came out for yeah, everybody pretty much so and now already we have a repaint that's up for for pre-order to add to cart you know so it shows that they could right away get stuff out there um because i mean let's put it this way even if, if they let's say this was a retail product you got to contact marcello because it'll probably be marcello um, and go, hey, we need box art. And then they'll have to contact an individual and go, hey, we need some some text on the back. Then you got to translate it to the three different languages. Then you got to have someone who's going to probably color um, Marcelo's stuff. Then you have to then put the whole packaging together. You got to get a, a, a layout guy for that. And then you got to bring that to Hasbro's, you know, Longoy, you know, Laval, Quebec location for packaging. Mm -hmm. It's a whole process and it, it doesn't happen in a month, you know. So it's something that if, if this was a retail product, it would have been planned alongside with the Megatron at the exact same time. Yeah. True. So this cuts down heavily on that process and puts this out as quick as possible. I mean, I look at when we had the Prime Wars trilogy, like we had. Uh, those special releases of like uh, Counterpunch and Repugnus, where they came in those fancy boxes and everything, like th it's a, it's similar to this, but we could keep it simpler, and you know because those were Amazon exclusives and stuff like that. But we could keep mm -hmm. it simpler, have it done through Hasbro Pulse. It keeps the price down because it's done directly through Hasbro. Um, <clears throat> and let's be honest, let's be honest. A lot of us, a lot of us don't care about our boxes. You know what I mean? They're they're always nice. Yeah, it's always kind of. It's always up space. so if they take up space. They, they they sit in your closet. You know, a lot of us we if anything we keep our boxes as like an insurance of of if we want to resell it. You know, or if, yeah. we, or if we want to store the character or something, so it, it just doesn't sit and it's clashing against other toys. But in all honesty, when you have a box that's this simple, and and these boxes are also very compact. They're usually not very large either. Um. It's something that if you did throw it out, you wouldn't feel too bad, you know. Like it's it's you're not losing like beautiful box art or something. So it's it's also a very low cost, disposable way of handling your product. And I mean, I dig it. I I, I have no problem with stuff like this. I mean, if you want, if you're someone that wants like if you want something more, I'm pretty sure inside that box there'll be a character tech spec card with his description and his bio instructions and some art and then that'll be that i mean if they want to go that far like what fun pub would do but they'd keep mm -hmm. the box simple and also keeping the box simple like this more than anything shipping it probably is going to ship like that which yeah. happened a lot of times with fun publication they would ship with the box too so just like a amazon box you know it has a fancy oh, little okay, smile okay. yeah yeah, yeah. Fa fancy little smile on the side here you go that's so, pretty cool, then. Yeah, I th like that. There's trust me. There's a lot going on. With just looking at, I know it's funny. We're talking about a box all this time, but it, it <laughs> it's very indicative of what I get a feeling is going to be the conversation later. So, this is pretty cool. Definitely check it out, guys. And it's still up for pre order right now at twenty nine ninety nine.